everyone, Cheryl here, and today's video tutorial is on sewing on our cards. And so um, I have had a few people message me and ask me if I would be willing to do video on how I sew on my cards and 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 so forth. So um, I'm working on a card right now, and I've already got two layers prepped and done. And so now I'm going to work on the third layer. Of course, I love layers. So <laughs> anyways, I usually go with three layers. You can go with two, you know, um, you can go with three for each layer. Um, so I've got these two or this layer here prepped. And so my cardstock piece is going to measure four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then I did pick a screen print from Paper Temptress. And that one's going to measure four by four. And so that one will go there. And then I also picked the Darling It's Your Birthday from Echo Park. Love this paper collection. Um, and so that's going to go on top. And so what you're going to want to do is we do not want glue we do not want glue going all the way around the edge because your needle will get sticky, it could break, and so on. And so what I typically will do is just add, a, run a little bit of glue, like two little pieces, just to hold it down on my layer. And then you wanna go ahead and make sure to, to get that pressed down. And you'll do the same thing on the next, on the backing of the blue. And then I'll put it right on this black layer. And so now I'm ready to start sewing. So I've chosen to um, share a zigzag stitch today. Um, and so that's how the placement's going to be for my foot and and the needle and so forth. Now, if you want to do a different stitch, you'll have to mess around with um, your foot and the placement of your needle and where you're gonna line, what you're gonna line up. And so if you're interested in me doing other videos on sewing with other stitches, I can surely do that. Just um, leave me a comment or send me a, a message. And so before we start sewing, um, I always like to check and make sure the stitch is gonna run smoothly and that they're not gonna have any problems. So I'll run it a little bit and then just check and make sure and that stitch looks good. Um, if it doesn't look good, um, it could be that you have two different threads in your machine or your tension is not set properly. So since I'm good to go on the zigzag, um, the next thing I do is I line up the little bracket on this foot. So I'm gonna show you up close, whoops, once I stop moving the camera. So I use this as my guide. So the right bracket right here, I will um, run it so it runs along the paper. And that's pretty much the only thing I pay attention to. I don't pay attention to uh, the needle, it's more so the foot. And so that's how I do my guide. So then I'm gonna just put the foot down and just make sure your needle, whether it's on either side, it really doesn't matter because we're paying attention to the foot. Um, we're not paying attention to the needle. So I just wanna make sure the foot is right up against there and then I can go ahead and start and then just sew down the line. Now, if you had glue here, your needle would have to go through that glue and it would get sticky over time. We don't want that. So it on this one, it came to the outer corner, which is good. That's where we want it. Um, if it happens where it doesn't go to that outer corner, what I do typically is I'll move the paper as I'm sewing gently. So you don't want to like rip the paper. You just want to move it gently as you start to sew. Because um, not every time will the needle come to the outer corner, um, depending on the size. On this one it did, but I'll still kind of move it. I moved it gently over. Um, you could always practice on um, some practice pieces. On this one it moved over as well to the outside, so we're good to go. Depending on the size, 
And then once I get down to the end, I'm gonna do a back stitch. And so I wanna hold that back stitch and then forward stitch. And that will help lock your stitches in. And then you can just go ahead and trim them up. Now, if you're, if you're like me and you want some bling on your cards, um, you could always um, add some little um, dew drops. I use the Robin's Nest dew drops on mine. Um, I also use really reasonable ribbons, um, little daisy uh, acrylic flowers. I love using those as well. Um, I've also used pearls. Um, you can use whatever you'd like if you want to. And if you don't, you just leave it, leave it the way it is. And so I do hope you enjoyed my video today. And I want to thank you for stopping by. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. Um, if you'd like to see other videos on sewing with different stitches, I can surely do that. Um, again, leave a comment. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like, you can follow me, um, you know, hit subscribe. And that way you won't miss any of my future videos. Um, I will have more videos to come as I've been enjoying doing the videos. It's been a long time. So thank you again for stopping by and have a good day. Bye-bye.